we're the Fire Emblem people. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back, it's you. It's me, I'm Grant, you're my team. So, I've never played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and apparently this is like the best one when it comes to Paper Mario games. I wouldn't know. Um, the only Paper Mario I've ever played is Super on Wii and I really enjoyed that one. It was great. So we'll just jump straight in and we'll see what's what. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do character voices, aren't I? Oh, boo. So we'll go for about half an hour and we'll see what's what. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, it was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. I couldn't read everything, that was fast text. <laughs> it's fine. Ooh, public executions much? That's a noose. <laughs> Imagine Peach just gets hanged. Have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday and all I get only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Hmm, how about murder? But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very mm, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. Oh, oh, Missy. Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Wow, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Ooh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. Go on. Hold it. Cheap carnival trick. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh no, and she died. That's a good remix of the Mario theme. <laughs> I don't know what voice to give. Um, mail call. That'll do. I don't know what it is. So 
So is it just implied that Luigi lives at Mario's house then? I mean, it makes sense if the brothers, but still. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I just read it to you. How's that sound? <clears throat> now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rockport. That means you must come. Peach. Honestly, the promise for adventure instead of cake sounds ever more delicious. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. I don't know why his accent's Spanish and I'm sorry. Check it out. Ooh, pretty. You got your ice world, your dead decaying forest world, your weird mountain world, your town. Ooh. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. <laughs> I don't know who this could be and I don't want to do any voices until I see someone. <laughs> Sounded like a guy. <laughs> Show me a face. I want to see somebody. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> okay. I like the stylistic choice of lifting the entire ship and flipping it over. That's cute. Okay, right. 10 HP. 5 FP. I'm guessing that's flower points. 3 BP. I've never played like a traditional turn-based Mario. Well, Paper Mario. So, this is interesting. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. If you get a game over, or you- or if you start playing again from the title screen, you can continue from the last save point you said. Oh, it's one of those games. Die, forget to save, and get sent all the way back. Okay. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, harassment. Oh, hey, bestie. A new bestie? Possibly. Oh, come on, Fit. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I seem to be walking around town asking for information about the crystal stores. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know, right? No, I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Uh, 
Okay, let's go. I can go anywhere with smelly losers like you. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Chum? You think you can screw up my plans? Yeah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old clump of bomb. You know, I've been in this town for exactly five minutes and already this is targeted harassment. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Bold of you to assume I have a hammer. Oh, I have a hammer. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll do it in that order then. Press A at the exact moment you stomp on an enemy. Yeah. Never mind. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't show that up. Ow. Hammer. Hold the left stick left and release it when the star lights up. Ooh. You got him on the ropes? Come on, keep waving on him. Let's try a jump. Hey, I got one. Okay, cool. Awesome, what a star points. You did it! Yes, you did it! And you got star points! That's what those little things are. Star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get a hundred, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, it's experience. Nice, cool. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh, oh! Punisher. And we died. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Oh, what's down this way? Dead end? None. Uh -huh. Stop! They go, huh? You, Johnson, you see him? Did anyone? Oh, uh, crud, they bolted. Okay, cool. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, the execution chamber. <laughs> it's not. It's an execution plaza. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've got, I've just got to give you a little reward. Ew, gross. My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? <gasps> wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Roadport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? <laughs> whoa, 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 Bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh, is, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. 
Princess Peach? What? Great Hoogly Boogly! If oh wait, this sounds like someone else. Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario! Oh, it's Toad's one. Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario! Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Oh, so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? We don't see Toads with anywhere near as much anymore. Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Blowport? Intriguing. Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh, you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your health, hearts, HP, heart points running low. Just drop on in! Oh, 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 oh. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit uh, <clears throat> rough. Yes, rough indeed. <laughs> Tough, I say. Tough, I say. Um. Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets napped by Bowser the Cooper King? The one you rescued? <gasps> Wait a sec, this is wild! Princess Peach sent you the treasure map? Whoa, this is, like, really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think that maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario, come with me! One of my professors here is, they're researching the treasure, we'll show them your map! If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach! Great, we're all good then, let's go, Mario! Goombella joined your party. Goombella's abilities. A primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. The X button? My X button's got its sights set on you. A wonder at night who leaves them truly satisfied. Is it you or is it his new guy on the side? There's not a doubt existing in my mind that a bougie basic bitch is playing the same tricks twice. <laughs> uh. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. That's Goomba, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. We should really roll this guy in some self-defense. Roll this guy and roll this guy. Oh, I can't English. This is Roadport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Goombella's abilities now? Uh, so basically press X and you can learn about enemies and locations. Cool. Of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump, she can fly, she can reach the other side of the rainbow. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Snitching bitch. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I've got to, since I just got to tell myself, I, um, don't exactly actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. 
Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. I have to say ZL because I'm British. I'm sorry. ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. So, ZL, if ever you're stuck and you don't know what to do next. And uh, X to learn about locations and shit. Awesome. Boink, 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 boink. And doink. I said doink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute. Nice. Okay, cute. This is Rogue Port's main square. It's sort of a central shopping area, I guess. Okay, cool. There dwells. If you want to venture into the back alleys, be prepared to deal with some nasty sports. Now yeah, we can do that. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, wait. So I'm going to guess this is in and like a, a weapon shop or like a, well, I'm going to say weapon shop like a Final Fantasy kind of shop. We have no coins. Goodbye. The Scott Captain Gusts. Gaze, the red jewel shines and blurs. It's a boom, boss, a boom, best of bow. The stars, brothers, best of friends. The stars, the 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 that's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. Hey, yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. You believe that? Well, now next time, man, I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. <laughs> Damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> So anyway, I love that it's not like offensive graffiti, it's just like flowers and faces and stars, it's cute. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanna Goomba. I was a thief in another town until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you I'm lying low in this thieves' den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. You're a fucking idiot. <sighs> oh, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. So, Professor is somewhere in town. What about this house? Mm, nice and pleasant. <laughs> she ended up inside the wicker basket. Freeze! You two, not another step do not come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. <coughs> <coughs> you hear me? What if you do? Do not move an inch. Not one inch to him. How about we back try? Squitch. You stepped on it, my poor content. I told you not to move. Don't you stupid ass work. What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new content lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. I genuinely did not think she was actually gonna ask me to, like, wait, wait. Fine, if that's your plan, yes, mine, your oath. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Cool. Thanks. Bitch. Probably could have been avoided. Oh well. She's not my mission anyways. Blood me, sucker. Hey, what's your beat pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. That guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Not a big surprise, but I did see a shifty looking guy pass through here in a rush. Scurry down the back alley, chase by. You might be able to say, Hello. Ooh, 
B does a hammer. What does Y do? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Oh, not you. Boo! Shut up. This corner. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Because what if I can... No, I can't. Okay. I'm not tall enough. Boo. I was going to say, what if I could jump up on like the things and get up on the roof? What about in here? Bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Damn, bitch, you live like this, huh? Oops. I fancy meeting you here, you pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me, I'll give you your coins back. Hey. Suck at it, bitch. So, back to where we were. So far, overall impressions, it's charming, it's bright, it's colourful. Quirky. Ooh, sun shines bright. Hey, shines bright, shines bright, shines bright. <gasps> hey! Why do I recognise your design? Were you the reader of the Dark Prognosticus and the Light Prognosticus? Something something Prognosticus in Super Paper Mario. The power of your partner. Talk to me from the other side of the table. Ishnail's turf. Merle. That's it. Yep. 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 Ooh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, whoa, this is it. Hi. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Buzzer? Who's there? Who wants me? Oh, yes, you! Now, you, uh... Just a moment. Don't tell me. Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goom, real. No, it's not Eliza Goom. Eliza Goom. Um. Aha! I've got it. You're Goom Bell, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow! Yes, sir! That's me! I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom... Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You know, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Oh! Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roadport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you two tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in these fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to define the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. <gasps> the Crystal Stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
I love a good poem. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the rhyming lo written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referencing to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're in luck. It seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. Nani the fuck? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I, could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Wee! Da 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 da! You, son, are my hero. You're great. Fantastic. Wonderful, even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Go better! Mario! Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go this instant and lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. I'm sorry, sir. You want to walk? I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get to the city streets. On the streets. Come on, both of you. Get moving. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you like to practice your action commands before we descend? They're the basics of battle, after all. I want to guess that this is just the hammer and the jump. Good call. In that case, let's have a little practice session. Who better? Can you be Mario's opponent? What? Me? Are you serious? Oh, gee, um... Uh, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump command. Is that okay with the both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you'll attack. When you choose a command, the action command details will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Yep, yep, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Cool. Shake a leg. Ooh, okay. So that's how you do it. That's a guard. Okay. Success requires time and you can't mash. Okay. So, hammer, boombella. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, press B at the exact moment the enemy attack lands. Uh oh. Oh. I mean, her, that's a super god. If you do a super god with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in turn. But super guards are harder to do than standard A cards. Choose wisely between them. So you have to commit. Right, got it. That command that concludes action commands 101. Ha ha ha. Ah, 
Haha, <laughs> sorry, professor professorial humor. I'm good. So, god, super god, pick one, commit. <laughs> That's cool. I like the aesthetic of the paper creasing. Ah, oh, good lordy. Wow. Let's have a look at this slab. Oh, okay, right. So we'll have to go this way then. Possibly. Possibly. Ooh. No, not gonna work? Okay. Oh, Ooh, hi. And you are? Welcome, Mario. I'm Mer Lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Uh huh. So, shall I see something for you? I'm good. Is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you need to know, just ask. Okay, lovely. Welcome to the world of shadows, where demons gather. Oh, hi, babies. Oh, ooh, I breathe clean air. <laughs> Academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace. If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What? You too good for a fight? Well, if you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody starts to fight with us, nobody. Let's get them. Alright, let me kick some ass. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, music. <laughs> right, so jump on the flame one, hammer the uh, spiky one. Oh, what? Why to change the audio to attack it? Nice. Oh, cool. Right, well, let's... I think we get rid of this one first. Nice. Yay. Yay. Shit. Too late. Yay! These motherfuckers dead. These, these, these motherfuckers dead. Yay. Owie! Run that ass, bitch. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try the hammer or jump on them while they're on the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a fast strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Awesome. Let's have a look this way. Ah, uh, we'll have to glide, I'm guessing, or crease ourselves up into a paper. Right, okay, so we'll... Head this way, what's through here? Ah, right. And then we'll get over here, and then we'll get up here, and then in the pipe. Nice, I like this. Got your ass. Bitch.
You were saying. A girl by ooh, gimme. Nice. Yeah. Nailed it. It seems cool, it's charming, it's it's its own sort of breed of quirky. And that's fine. Ooh, what's this? Hey! Feel good mushroom. 5 HP. An item. Plus to open the menu. Bitch! Yay. Seems like a nice little grind for some experience. And coins. Ooh. Attacks all, excuse me, all enemies with fireballs that do three da- Excuse me, that do three damage and burns them. Cute, okay. Ooh. Ah. Oh wait, there were a piece of paper there that were curved and like uh, peeling. I just want to see if we can do anything with that. Ew, what the hell with that little slug thing? Let's just very quickly. No? Okay, that's fine. I probably need a different ability then. Boom, boom, boom. The hammer won't solve all of my problems. Okay. Nar, nar. Oh God, hi. Uh. Ah, there we go, right. Spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP at 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hey -ah! A hey -ah. Okay. Whoops, I forgot. Oh god. Sheep. Sheep. Oh no. Oh no. I will be right. Ow. Ow. I tried, I tried with the A button, I tried. I tried. Dead bitch. Yay. I'm so late with that. Yay. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. I like my RPGs and I like Mario. So, we'll see. Now, do I have gear? I have a mushroom. Replenishes 5 HP. Let's give that to, I think, Goombella. Ooh, partner him. Hello. There's a switch here. You want to stomp on it or something? Oh, you bitch! Aha, you tried. Pony bonk. Oh, 
<gasps> Ooh, I did good. Ooh, we can do this. Hey, cool. It is cool. Ooh. No, you won't let me? That's fine. Beautiful. Oh. Ooh, stairs. Right, then in that case. Actually, what is this way? Oh, we need to glide. We don't have that capability. Wonder what's inside it. Hey, you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. They're gonna think you're schizophrenic for talking to me. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me inside this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think? What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I'm sure we've already seen it. It looks like this. Come on, being stuck in a box is no old picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Won't you just be someone who can let us glide? Plot twist. Whee! Ah, uh, got it, yeah. We just have to jump down. Right, got it. You got a strange black key. Whoa, you brought the key. Oh, I owe you big. Watch it be a Koopa. Thank, ha, thank nothing. Wee. Uh oh. What in the world? <laughs> oh no. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What did you think I was gonna do? Help you. Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of that suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah. Sorry. But those are the bricks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly boogly boogly. Your curse. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. Do you wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. This is a very hard voice to do. From now on. If you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a PayPal. Oh, that's not a curse, that's a boon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. You're <coughs> <coughs> so funny. Oh, 
suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> when you ride in a very plain shape, press B to deep plane and get back to normal. Unfolded. Yes, I get the curse. <laughs> the boom. Fool, you foolish fool. <laughs> So, uh, wow, just, wow, what was that guy's, what was, what was that guy's beef? Gee, I wonder. Oh, well. Yay. <laughs> that was fun. Do you want to give me a save point so I can wrap this up? Oh, Mario, go better. Look at that. Is that a thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. I'm going to guess that's Goombella saying it. So the legends are true. Come, let's move closer. Do we have to? Is there a save point? <laughs> Professor, is there a save point? Professor, I say, Professor. Is there a save point? There is not a save point. Damn you, Professor. I'm on the dais. Oh no. I'm on the dais, on the dais. Uh, 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 I'm on the dais. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven crystal stars, seven circles. Professor, what's going on? I have been chosen. I'm holding the map up. It's either a grey star because of the fact that we've not obtained it yet, or it's a grey star because it's going to be the colour of the star that we get, and they're probably going to be like the seven Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> anyway. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Let me guess, we've got to go through the, thou the thousand year door. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat, as I was saying. I bet we have to go through the thousand year door in order to get to these other worlds or these places on the map. It's a door, it's gonna lead somewhere. Professor, the map! I'm always with all the strange lights. Hmm, this looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Thank you for getting me the hell out, like, automatically. So back at the professor's place. Hmm. Aha, I see. You understand it, professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is, this map is truly astounding. Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes. The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that, that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? Don't ask me, I rolled up in this town 35 minutes ago. 
<laughs> got into a scuffle, found a professor, got swindled, went underground, kicked the living shit out of some goombas that had beef with me apparently, got cursed, I could turn into a paper airplane. Don't ask me for directions, I'm a stranger to this land. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to peddle meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. I think I know which one it is. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? So basically, from Princess Peach. Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? That's the very same. So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. And I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old goomba like me could handle the trips up the road. And, of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, I'll always give you both a proper farewell. Oh, Mario, there's something I forgot. There's always something you forget to mention. I can't rely on you. You're about as reliable as a chocolate fire guard. Firstly, about that light we saw shining upon you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes. Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure. Excellent. In that case, let's give our special move a little test run. I'm about to smack the shit out of Goombella again. Or not. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. Okay. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting with a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. And cures poison. Repeatedly tilt left stick left to shoot hearts and flowers. The map. Oh. Oh, it's clever like that. Oh, I get that. Yay. Since you used a power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. You got it. That won't do. Perform like that, the audience will feel ripped off. Trust me. You'll have to execute your action commands. Don't get stage fright now. See that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your star gauge. Nice! Keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, 
the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. Fifteen. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you've memorized all this. Yeah, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillin scintillating lecture on special moves. I wonder then if we can use like the superior or supreme guard or whatever it is, as well as the regular guard in order to get some star power. Fine work, Mario. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. You got a murder weapon! It's called a badge. Oh, never mind. You didn't get a murder weapon. And it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing? Yes. Press plus and open the menu. ZR and open the badge menu. Equipping badges requires badge points. BP. That one needs one BP. Press A to equip the badge. You used a BP and equipped a badge. Press A again to remove the badge and your BP will return to normal. That's the whole explanation. Press plus to close the menu. By the way, you need flower points, FP, I was right, to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Sweet. So we'll head down in this pipe. Oh god, here we go. Hi there, kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like, to fight with your whole heart? I could set your brain with a potential kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish bones, hit the big! There's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question for it, no? Who am I? Well, there's something called me the Battle Master, and I don't stop him, but I could with violence. Anywho, I've got a great life traveling, training, uh, some third thing. If you want to see me around, you give me a holler, okay? Okay. Oh, it's that little shit over there. Right. Become as plain, yeah. Become as plain, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> Goopa blooper. Hey. Oh. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> Oh no. Hey, Marin, you know what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee, oh no. Okay, right, that's not too bad then. G R O S S burst. Slimy, nasty. Okay, cool. Um. 
Ooh, I could, but we'll do that later. Yeah. Yeah, darn bloopin. Ew, no, I'd rather bloop. Ghost punk. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. this oh B I and G-O I hate that how dare you ball oh. Do you want to drain the water? No, you do not want to drain the water. Ooh. Now this looks meadowsy. Chapter one, castle and dragon. Hey, this is cute. Oh, thank God, a save block. Well, here we are! The Petal Meadows, folks, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of an adventure. This is completely awesome! And we're gonna save the game. And I think here's as good a place as any to wrap it up. So. So far, general impressions are, it's bright, it's charming, it's colourful, it has a nice battle system. I like it. If you like it, you're more than welcome to like and subscribe and tell me in the comments if you want to see a full series of this, but it would come at a time after I'd experienced everything because this is the kind of game where I feel like I would much rather get to know the mechanics of the game first in like a, a personal playthrough and then I'd share one with you guys. That makes sense? Like I make a new save file for you guys. There you go. Simple enough. Well, that's it from me. Look after each other, love each other. I promise I can do outros. I've just not done one for months. <laughs> Look after each other, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.